most great people have attained their different successes by going just one step beyond the greatest failure of those ahead of them. The Beatles is an example. During their time, they were exceptional, influential, and the dream of every other rock band. However, success comes with motivation and inspiration. So who were the bands and artists that inspired the Beatles? We'll dive into the details in today's video. Welcome to the Yellow Submarine, where we share stories about the Beatles. Before we go on, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. The Beatles band, which started in the 60s, was popularly known for their style of music. Even though it was first formed by John Lennon and Paul McCartney in 1957, the group grew out of shared enthusiasm and interest for American rock and roll. Most early rock and roll singers were self-taught musicians. They learned to play a variety of instruments by themselves, and this was a hindrance to the growing process. Members of the Beatles were skilled in so many instruments. With the introduction of all of these at an early stage, getting enough people that were enthusiastic about music was rare. Not just music, but the kind of music that the Beatles do is rare. A lot of musicians today claim they get their inspiration from the Beatles, but come to think of it, who were the actual people that influenced the famous rock and roll band? It feels quite hard to believe that this band that has so many people that learn from them also has people they look up to. Well, we have the likes of Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley, Little Richard, and different other bands that got to inspire the Beatles with their style of music. The musical style, arrangement, sound, and composure of these artists helped the Beatles create rhythms they could easily flow with. If there was one common thing you'd get from the Beatles and those that influenced them, it would be their stage charisma. Ability to also perform on stage for little or long hours and not get to bore the crowd. Although the common thing might be the charisma to perform, each of all these artists have specific things they use in influencing the Beatles. Let's take a look at them. Number 1. Elvis Presley one of the oldest rock and roll singers of all time, he was among the first set of people to inspire the Beatles. He had already started performing early enough when the early crooners of the group were still teenagers and had started influencing them from then. He was one of the few mentors that inspired some of the band members personally even more than he inspired them collectively. Take, for example, John mimicked Presley's style of dressing. He didn't care for his old looks anymore. He copied his style, hairstyle, sideburns, and even his love for tight pants. The most fascinating thing about Elvis was how he would combine the musical styles of gospel, rhythm and blues, country, and western to create rock and roll. No wonder he was referred to as the king of rock and roll. According to John Lennon, nothing affected him until he heard Elvis. He also claimed that without Elvis, there would have been no Beatles. It was Elvis Presley and music that encouraged John Lennon to form the Quarrymen, the now Beatles, and continue his musical career. The love for Elvis translated into the Beatles releasing an album. Their album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, is majorly influenced by Elvis Presley. McCartney let us in on the fact that they all got ideas about the album from Elvis and his Cadillac. From start to finish, you could tell that the album was influenced by the king of rock and roll. They released the album and did not tour. They decided that the record itself would go on tour for them. Elvis Presley was, however, the most prominent influence on the Beatle band. His style of music, fame, commanding aura, and strong personality always left the Beatles in awe and constantly influenced their style. Number 2. Buddy Holly and the Crickets Even after his untimely death in a plane crash, Buddy Holly's influence on the Beatles cannot be forgotten in a hurry. McCartney admitted publicly that the first 40 songs of the Beatles were highly influenced by Buddy. Holly was a lover of instruments just like members of the Beatles. He had a vast knowledge of music and instruments. This made him open a band he named after insects, The Cricket. The Beatles felt the name was quite unfamiliar and unique, and this inspired their name choice for their band. According to them, the name Cricket resonated in two ways, as an insect and also as a game, and they also wanted something like that for the band. Lennon came up with the Beatles, which had dual meanings. He felt when people heard of the Beatles, they had thought of crawly things and then beat music. Lennon and McCartney were drawn to Buddy Holly the most out of all of them. They fell in love with the name of his band, Cricket, his charisma, and also alluring sound. Buddy Holly was the one that inspired them to go in the band. Number 3. Little Richard Another major influence of the Beatles was Little Richard. He had always been there to affect their career positively from the beginning. 
His style of music was visible in most of their tracks. Songs like Tutti Frutti, Good Golly Miss Molly, and Lucille, even down to their falsetto woo, had Little Richard's influence. The sound, synchronization, energy, and vocal range all screamed Richard's influence. The sweetest part was that Richard was also a huge fan of the Beatles. On radios and even in concerts, the band performed Richard's songs from time to time. In 1964, during the group's opening in Europe, he went on tour with the group. Little Richard said, I've never heard that sound from English musicians before. Honestly, if I hadn't seen them with my own eyes, I'd have thought they were a group of color from back home. Little Richard's eclectic style and sound turned out to be an outstanding influence on the band's sound, which made them very popular and influential. Not many people then could scream while singing and still maintain composure and harmony. That was one unique thing that attracted the Beatles, especially Paul McCartney to him. Little Richard's notable screams, vocal strength, and unique and diverse sounds sure played a huge influence on the Beatles' sound and style of music. Number 4. Cliff Richard and the Shadows Cliff Richard and the Shadows could easily pass as the greatest inspiration to the Beatles because they were the first truly British rock and roll stars. They created a different style of sound, a unique blend of British and American rock and roll that appealed to a new generation. This was exactly what the Beatles wanted to create and be known for. Another thing we could notice that the Beatles learned from them was their mode of dressing. Members of the Shadows had matching ties, handkerchiefs, and gray suits, but then the Beatles were still doing Gene Vincent, Bo Diddley, and the likes. They eventually got to switch things up a bit as soon as they got back to England. The appeal and the reaction of Cliff's audience impressed the Beatles and they craved something like that for themselves. As a young band in search of stardom, fame, exceptional successes, and lots more, they wanted to experience and record similar successes and he played a big part in shaping how they performed in their early days. Number 5. Bob Dylan if there was one thing Bob was exceptional at, it was his endearing songwriting skills. His ability to create lines that could captivate his audience's attention was his unique selling point and almost every artist wanted to learn that from him. Even though everyone loved his style of songwriting and wanted to learn from home, he was an advocate of creating relationships with one's audience. His message of opening up oneself to your audience through personally reflective pop songs landed most heavily on John Lennon, a member and co-founder of the Beatles. One track that Lennon later admitted to David Sheff in 1980 came from Bob and his Dylan period. Lennon wasn't the only Beatle under Bob's influence. George Harrison also got to improve his songwriting skills based on Dylan's influence. With or without the Beatles, each member that has taken music seriously would attribute their songwriting skills to Bob Dylan. Number 6. The Beach Boys even though what was going on between the Beach Boys and the Beatles was seen as a rivalry by most of their fans, there is no doubt that the two bands inspired each other. The Beatles' album, Rubber Soul, which was released in 1965, inspired Brian Wilson to create the acclaimed Pet Sounds album in 1966. This in turn inspired Lennon and McCartney in 1968 to create a remake of California Girls. Almost every member of the team had something that inspired the other team. First, it was the high falsetto and California lyrics they used for Pet Sounds, and then for Brian's writing. It's beautiful to know that instead of focusing on their rivalry, they chose to channel the energy into creatively pushing themselves to aid their musical growth. From Elvis Presley to Buddy Holly, and his cricket group to Bob Dylan, Little Richard, even down to the Beach Boys, all these artists and bands were what made the Beatles what they are today. The Beatles have since then taken on an almost mythical and enviable status within the music industry since they first came in as four young men from Liverpool nearly 60 years ago. Even if they all had had specific things that the Beatles learned from them, every skill put together shaped the Beatles into becoming a band with global influence. There is no doubt about the kind of influence the Beatles have on the world. Now in turn, the Beatles serve as inspiration to a lot of upcoming artists and bands like Nirvana, Oasis, The Birds, and so much more. The bands will also learn, grow, and in turn inspire new artists and upcoming bands. And like that, the circle goes on and on. Before we end today's video, which artist or band do you think had the strongest influence on the Beatles? Which artist and band on the list are you most surprised about? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And if you haven't by now, ensure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new updates from us.